Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com and I'm here with tip number six on our 14 steps to cutting hair better. And uh, this one's all about body positioning. Body positioning is very important. You can see right now on the floor we have a, a nice box. This box represents where you're gonna be standing when you're cutting hair. I like to do this, when, whenever you're training, if you're working on a mannequin or a model, um, you can put the chair or the mannequin stand right in this box. And then, the great thing about this is, as you're working, you can reference where your body is. So this is just a quick little tip for you. Work, and let's say we wanna cut a square shape. I'm gonna cut right here in the back. Work all along this line, so I never wanna step into this corner. As soon as I do that, I'm gonna start removing the corner of the hair. So we're gonna work on our square shape right here in the back, and then we're gonna to move to the side here, cut, and then we're gonna to move to the opposite side here and cut. That's gonna be our square shape. Then when we wanna cut a triangular shape, we're gonna stay in the back of this line. We're never gonna cross over to, to over direct the hair back. We're gonna stay right in the back line. If we wanna cut a round shape, then you can break the rule of staying in the square and you can cut along the corner and the edge and so on and so forth. So, this is a fun tip. It doesn't cost barely any money to pick up some tape. You probably have it laying around the house. Tape up your floor and just get to work and, and practice cutting different shapes uh, in hair cutting. So I hope this helps you. We'll move on to tip number seven, which is gonna be focusing on your elbow and the tension of the hair. So hope you guys enjoyed this tip. Check us out, freesaloneducation.com and make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks.